Hello everyone and a very warm welcome back to the channel once again. It's Easter time in Sandship and to go with that is a brand new limited time event that we've really been getting our teeth stuck into and enjoying. Packed full of chocolatey goodness and new content for us all and there's some quite difficult materials to get your heads around so we're going to be showing you exactly how to make each and every one of these to maximise the amount you're going to get out of this event. As you can see, if we take a look in the transit, there's a whole host of new materials on offer here. We've got the cocoa pod, the cocoa husk with butter, for example, all the way up to these colorful egg baskets and the Fabergé eggs, to name a few. So before we get started on showing you exactly how to make these, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is activate your shifter factory by the booster from the shop. If you've already got the shifter factory, it'll be in your buildings tab that you can simply drag out, activate your booster on the factory, and that puts you in a position to be able to craft all of these materials. So let's dive straight into our shifter factory and start to make these items. So the first one on the list is the cocoa pod, and we're gonna start off nice and simple here. With it being a plant, we know we're going to need the chemical mixer here using hydrogen and oxygen. We're going to need some grow buildings to be able to grow these cocoa pods. We're going to connect these up to the water line, select the recipe in the grow buildings, and this is going to give us everything we need in order to get started on here. We're simply going to place down a couple of fast grubbers to extract these, and we're going to add some exporters here. We're going to turn this on, and as you'll see, once the water reaches a grower burning, the plants start to grow and we can export these cocoa pods. So that being the first and most simple item to make on this list, we can then take this one step further, removing these exporters, placing down these crushers. You'll see once we start to crush these cocoa pods down, it's then going to generate two new materials here. We've got the cocoa nibs and the cocoa husk with butter. Now these come out on the same lines as you can see. So in order to separate them, you can use smart grabbers or smart splitters. We use the smart splitters because we think they're more efficient. You simply select one of the two items. The one that you select will always come out on top. So if we select both these materials here, generate two new lines of belts and kick this factory off. You can see once they've exited the crusher and gone through the smart splitter, we've separated those lines and they are being exported into our transit. Now that we've separated these two materials from each other and got them in different supply lines, we can actually take this one step further and start to manipulate these further into even more materials. For example, if we put down another crusher on these cocoa nibs and export these, You can see once this reaches the end, we've started to make cocoa powder, which is even finer than the cocoa nibs, and that's being exported from our factory. Now we can also manipulate the cocoa husk with butter into actual cocoa butter. Firstly, we're gonna need a heater, followed by this extractor. And in order to make the chocolate chunks, which is the end game here, we're going to need a chemical plant. We're gonna hook up the supply from the cocoa butter into the chemical plant and we're also going to need a fast grabber to insert the cocoa powder. We're going to select the recipe on the chemical plant to the chocolate chunks and use another fast grabber and exporter in order to get these into our inventory. As you can see as we turn this on we've started to craft the chocolate chunks and they're filling up in our inventory nicely. Now we've got the chocolate chunks. The next stage of this process is gonna to be to craft the chocolate eggs. Now to do this, it's very simple. All we need to do is insert a shaper into this line here, select the chocolate egg recipe. Now we're also gonna place a heater down because it needs to be hot as it goes into the shaper to be able to manipulate that. And I'm gonna place an exporter. And as we will see here, we've started to craft the chocolate eggs. Now you might already notice that the painted egg and the Fabergé egg has also come up in this output here. And that's simply because we've activated the booster here on our factory. This color scramble booster, which means once you produce any type of chocolate egg, you'll also be producing those colorful eggs and the Fabergé eggs as well. So unless you've got that color scramble booster activated, which you get as part of the quests on this event, you won't be able to craft these colorful eggs. Now the next item you're gonna be asked to craft is the wire basket, and that's very simple in comparison because all it consists of is copper. So we're gonna place our synthesizer here, place our heater, 
to heat up the copper, press it down, I'm gonna let that cool before placing down our cutter to make the copper rods. Now it's very important that you heat up these materials before they go into the mechanical assembler which is required in order to make this material. And you can see we place our mechanical assembler down, select the wire basket recipe, I'm gonna use some grabbers to get these materials in. We're gonna have a similar setup on the other side here copper ore, we're going to heat that up, press it down and let that cool into our cutter. We're going to heat that up again, place our extruder down and then heat it up once more before turning this factory on. And as you can see the wire basket has been added to the outputs. It's very important that we heat up these materials before they go into the mechanical assembly or they won't work. So make sure you put a heater at the end of your assembly line here. Now the next item on the crafting list here is the chocolate egg basket which is increasingly more complex with the more operations you have here but to keep it simple it's just a combination of the latest two that we've just constructed so we're going to move our copper production over here we're going to bring our chocolate egg production around and we're going to place this into another mechanical assembler here selecting the chocolate basket recipe so the chocolate eggs and the wire basket both going into this second mechanical assembler and then we're going to export these as normal. And as you can see we're now producing the chocolate egg basket which is the next item on the list here. Now it's not particularly tidy but it's just to show you guys exactly how to make these different materials available on this limited time event. So the very final item we've got to show you here is how to craft the colourful egg basket. Now we're just going to use some importers here on our design to make it a bit more tidy for you all to see. To craft the colourful egg basket you're going to need a wire basket, chocolate egg and painted egg. And they're all going to need to feed into the same mechanical assembler. We're going to select the colourful egg basket recipe and then we're also going to use another grabber to export these from the mechanical assembler. Now if we turn this on we can see we're also crafting the colourful leg basket and it's been exported into our inventory. So that's exactly how you craft all of these new limited time materials in this event guys. There's a lot to get your teeth stuck into as we mentioned at the start and as well as all these materials there's loads of quests to complete, there's lots of gems up for grabs and if you get far enough you'll be rewarded with several trophies such as these that you can use as you please. There's these silver egg bots and chocolate egg bots available among some other boosters and fun stuff as well. I hope this has helped you understand how to craft all these guys. If you do have any questions please leave them in the comments below as usual and we'll try to answer them as best we can. But until next time thanks for watching and bye bye.